Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Belugina and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo. It's Monday, April 8th. We can see that US stocks started with the week with some declines. It happened as investors await uh, the results of trade talks between the United States and China. And the market seems worried by the fact that there is uh, a lack of progress in the talks. However, it is still too early to say something about that because the recent statements of American uh, policymakers were rather positive and more statements are awaited this week. So the bad mood may be just uh, temporary until we get some um, news here. The market won't make big moves on uh, these expectations. In addition, uh, traders are awaiting the start of corporate earnings season for the first quarter. Here the expectations are uh, rather weak. Uh, everyone sees problems with uh, the revenues of American companies in the first months of the year. So this might be acting as a negative factor for S&P 500 too. The earnings publications will start on Friday and it will be the stocks of JP Morgan and Wells Fargo. So far, the stocks are consolidating and uh, we see serious support and resistance both uh, for the stock of JP Morgan and for Wells Fargo. As for JP Morgan, uh, resistance is located around 106.30 ahead of 107.50 where we find 200 day moving average, while uh, support is located around 104.50 ahead of 103.80 levels moving averages on the daily chart once again. For Wells Fargo, we can see a cluster of resistance around 149.35 and support is located around the lows of uh, late March and the start of April. Uh, in the area of 48. All in all, uh, the market sees the risks, the expectations are rather low. The banking sector is a problem sector for American economy right now. So given the low expectations, any readings which are will surprise to the upside will bring a, a significant positive result here, opening the way up. Uh, the disappointment uh, with the weak result probably ju will just confirm the market's vision well making the stocks uh, decline but um, that would be well uh, what is the main risk and in line with the major expectations of the market have a look at uh, the stock of general electric here we can see that a bearish gap was uh, formed and the stock is now uh, declining support levels to watch are located around 9.10 and 8.75 while uh, the main resistance is located around 9.90 the decline in the stock was related to uh, well actions of analysts who cut grading uh, on the stock so that is a kind of situation we see rather often but um, all in all given the fact that there is the general downtrend and the 200 day moving average which is declining uh, the odds that the stock will return to the active phase of the downtrend um, are significant have a look at the chart of boeing as well here we also see a gap to the downside and potential decline will bring the stock towards 366, the 100 day moving average. And uh, these are the main movers of the market. Um, also, I'd like to point out Facebook, which seems to reject from resistance here unable to close above this level last week so uh, the stock may test support located in the area of 171.
Thank you for your attention and see you tomorrow. Stay with Tradimo and subscribe to the channel.